So there are many reasons why we want to understand at the molecular level how influenza works so we can develop better vaccines and also generate drugs to help treat people who have contracted the flu, where a vaccine is really you know, not relevant anymore. So there's been a lot of research on the influenza virus, right down to the individual molecules that are involved in the infection cycle. And what was discovered, starting back in the 1970s and 1980s, is that the very early stages of influenza virus infection involves sugars. And in fact, that stage is the stage at which the influenza virus particle, which is shown here in this electron micrograph, attaches to a human host cell that it's destined to infect. There are sugars involved in that very first interaction between the particle and the host. Now, also the host generates new viral particles, which then bud and leave the host. And it turns out there are sugars involved in that step as well. And let me show you how.